to ensure the company has long-term feedstock for their silage technology, Lithium Australia has acquired numerous prospective lithium tenements around the world, both in their own right, as well as through the development of numerous strategic alliances. This has seen Lithium Australia have the right to use their silage technology on numerous projects both in Australia and Mexico. We also understand the company continues to assess additional projects throughout the world. We've taken projects that are dominated by lithium minerals that under normal circumstances people would consider to be waste. The application of silage technology to those materials converts waste into ore. So we've taken strategic positions on deposits that have large quantities of mica and in some cases lower grade spodumene. Oh, the Bino project's located about 50 kilometres from Darwin. It's a well-established pegmatite field. Uh, it contains numerous pegmatites that have been mined in the past for tin and tantalum. It has been the subject of tin and tantalum exploration, but never been the subject of lithium exploration. We believe there was a terrific opportunity there because of the fact that there wasn't any prior lithium exploration, and that's why we picked up the ground. Uh, one that's a joint venture with Focus Minerals, just out of Coolgardie, uh, over Lepidolite Hill, aptly named because Lepidolite, of course, is a lithium mica. We have 100% of Ravensthorpe, where we've recently announced uh, spectacular exploration results. Kazali have been granted a number of tenements adjacent to the ground that we have at Lepidolite Hill. Uh, we believe that there's a terrific uh, opportunity to put together a much larger package in the Kalgoorlie region, so we've thrown all of our assets into the same basket to advance the, uh, the project for the sake of both companies. Uh, we've got another joint venture with Tungsten Mining, north of Southern Cross, uh, and then we have uh, strategic alliances with uh, Pilgrim Minerals at Pilgangora, uh, Venus Metals also at Pilgangora, and we own uh, exploration licence applications surrounding the Greenbushes mine. In addition to the Australian projects, Lithium Australia also recently entered into a joint venture with Alix Resources for their lithium clay project in Mexico. We recently entered into that joint venture so we could uh, get a handle on what's happening with lithium clays. We, we've got just about the, the full spectrum of lithium silicates, but we didn't have any exposure to clays. And at the moment, uh, the Sonora project in Mexico, of which we have, we believe, the uh, northern and southern extensions in that joint venture, is the largest documented lithium occurrence on Earth. Uh, the mineralisation is primarily hectorite, a lithium clay, and we're planning to develop uh, as in a, is in accordance with our business plan, uh, probably a better way of processing that and get the energy cost down to make those sort of deposits more competitive also. 